Then comes commerce GPT. As the name suggests, this GPT helps the e-commerce brands or the e-commerce companies sell better and improve the loyalty of their brand. And how it helps you do that? Let's come to the first point. Commerce concierge. Con concierge. 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 So by the way, uh, before uh, before this <laughs> webinar, when we were having uh, the dry run for it, we usually do uh, when I'm very low on energy. Today, I'm very low on, on energy in the webinar as well. But uh, yeah, at that time, as I was very low on energy. And at that point of time, this word again came. And we were like, how to pronounce it? How to pronounce it? How to pronounce it? And then I was like, it, we call it concierge. Uh, then people said, no, no, it's concierge and something like that. And then we got different, different, uh, what? Pronunciations of the yeah. same. And then uh, I lost 100 rupees. So yeah, that's the story. <laughs> uh, coming back to commerce concierge, he won it. <laughs> commerce concierge. Uh, so yeah, Vishit. Yeah, so commerce concierge is basically a capability that uh, commerce GPT is providing, which allows kind of, you know, businesses to be able to provide to be able to provide, you know, the, uh, the customers to be able to talk to the AI itself only. They can simply send in the image of a particular person that is wearing a shoes and the AI can identify what type of shoes are they? Do we have them? Are their own? Are these shoes from our own catalog? And then it can tell them, hi, Mark, the image that you have sent or uh, sent. It is of XYZ uh, brand. Uh, it's, it's of XYZ uh, limited edition, and it is in, available in these these sizes. Would you like me? To, would you like to add it into the cart itself only? And the AI can do that. If the person replies back, do you have them in red color? The AI can reply back to that question as well. So this is kind of a experience where you're kind so it's, of it's just like the similar shop experience or the brick or mortar shop experience yeah. that you actually get when there is a person standing right in front of you and trying to help you. Uh, I mean, trying to help you like buy something exactly uh, and and figure figure out something that you are actually looking for rather than just sorting out each and every alley of the uh, sh uh, I mean of the shop. Uh, he's just trying to navigate you through it and. Uh, I mean, improving your experience of overall, uh, improving your overall experience of buying, right? Exactly. Another example to this is, let's say you say, I'm looking for sneakers that I want to wear on this particular event. And I am wearing this kind of outfit. Uh, this is my, uh, this is going to my lower, this is going to be my shirt or t-shirt. And then the AI can identify and suggest a particular sneaker based on the data, which is there. It can actually do that which is going to actually revolutionize the, you know, the way we do shopping on e-commerce. Exactly. That's amazing. Generative product descriptions. Uh, a lot of e-commerce brands struggle with writing down the right product descriptions. And a lot of these business owners struggle with their content team in order to get the right product description up and live because like their support uh, requests keep like gets shooted up like this, even if uh, they have wrong product descriptions on just one of their products or one of the articles of one of the products, right? So uh, this commerce GPT can help you write that down as well uh, on its own. You do not have to worry about it. And that is going to save you a lot of money, a lot of time and what else? Uh, errors. Errors, yeah. Smart promotion management. So this is basically the commerce GPT allowing us to identify what type of offers to create and how to send them and when to send them to the individuals. It is helping us in running our campaigns. So it is going to save us a lot of time when doing promotions by offering the right discounts, by offering the right type of, you know, situations. Again, it is going to suggest us only those things and then we can identify what we want to do with it. Makes sense. Then comes Einstein product recommendations. So Einstein product recommendation is the way where Commerce GPT... With I mean, yeah, see, see, see this commerce GPT recommending the right products to the individuals according to the searches that they've made according the to the interests that they have according to the color likings that they have and the interaction that they have had with their website right so yeah that's it and seen commerce insights so this is uh, this is again uh, not again but yeah there are so many things so it is again <laughs> very important aspects of it, very important aspect of it so commerce insight is actually AI identifying certain patterns which can actually help us get more business. So let's say there are particular product which gets looked upon for 120 times a day, almost approximately 60 times a day it gets added into a cart, but only two times it gets bought as compared to other products which 
are getting not that much low conversion ratio so there might be some issue into it so it can actually highlight these kind of scenarios for us so einstein commerce insights can help us do that so it can actually save us a lot of time and some person or the manager once uh, comes into a uh, comes in once a month and actually sees okay this has been going on for past 30 days so it can actually highlight that for us within 7 days itself only which can actually save lot and lot of time for us